going on everyone? It's Jack here from Nothing But Tech. I get a lot of tech in and you guys always like to see unboxings of tech. I love watching massive tech unboxings. So about a month ago I started a series where I unboxed all the latest tech that I got in. And normally they're in their uh, shipping boxes so you guys don't know what they are. I was a little bit too impatient. I had to see what exactly I got so I opened all of them up out of their shipping boxes but I haven't opened up the actual boxes. So let's get into it. I think I have five products here. Next episode should be like 10, but we're starting it off in this episode with five. So I want to uh, open all of them up. Let's see, which one do I want to start with? I think I'm going to start with this one. This is the Philips Hue uh, light strip. It's for um, color and ambience. I have one of these behind my desk, but you can't ever have enough uh, LED stuff. Um, I'm going to just cut right here. That's an easy cut. I love when products are easy to open. Cool, pop this open. See, uh, I ordered another one of these about like a week or so ago, and it came in like this brown box. Uh, I opened it up and building my ultimate setup, so this is a n much nicer a boxing experience. I'm not sure what happened with the other one. I feel like half and half. Like sometimes it comes in a nice box like this, sometimes it's just a cardboard box. I guess it really doesn't matter because the product is the same. But that's just funny to me. All right, peel this. I love boxes like this. All right, now I know a little bit better what these things are. So this is the wall plug. It has the little port right here for uh, plugging in the power. Then this is the LED strip. I guess that peels all the way up. And then attached to it this time, and last time it wasn't, I really have no idea what happened last time, is uh, this little adhesive. And this goes on the top of your desk if you're putting it on a desk or something. This is basically just to power it. And then we just have our paperwork and stuff here. This is a much nicer experience. I feel like I've said it a few times now, but I'm just very surprised that the other one didn't come like this. Uh, anyways, I'm excited. I'm going to put this on uh, another desk that I'm working on. You guys are going to see that desk soon. It's part of my new series that I'm starting. All right. Oh, you can never get it to fit the same way it fit the first time. So that's the first box. I'm not going to completely undo the LED strip just because... Uh, it has adhesive on it and stuff, but that's this very simple box, and you don't really get a lot in this box. I guess I'll put this to the side. I'm gonna go with this. This is also another simple unboxing. I love the way this is packaged, though. It kind of has the Apple theme, and we all know that Apple does product packaging really nicely. So this is that. I've gotta clean off this desk. Why does this always get so dirty? All right, so cut right there. Another cut on this side. So this is for another setup that I'm working on. So you guys are probably getting the theme. I'm working on a lot of setup based videos for you guys. They're coming soon. What's going on here? There we go. Uh, so I'm working on a lot of uh, desk setups and stuff like that. So you guys are going to see that soon. I know you guys love that kind of stuff. But this just peels off like that. I love this product packaging. More stuff to cut. That's not my favorite thing. This knife, though, if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave it linked in the description. I promise not to uh, forget, like I sometimes do. Uh, but yeah, let's pop this open. That jiggle. Alright, we have our little uh, manual. Some promotion for them. Guess you can't hate on that, but uh, you're buying their product already, so why do they need to promote anymore? I think this is around 79 bucks when I bought it. I think now it might be a little bit cheaper. I think it's on sale. But you just get your little paperwork. Nothing much there. And then the actual product, which is why we buy this. Uh, and it's really simple. So this is um, a Hutu USB hub. It's USB type C. Peel this little thing off. And um, basically it just has three USB A ports, an HDMI port, SD card slot, which is the most important to me, and then a USB type C port here. So you don't lose a port by plugging this in. This is expensive, but it's high quality. I've tried out a few other ones that have the same exact uh, ports and stuff, but they're just not high quality and they break after a while. This just feels higher quality to me. Uh, it's made out of metal, I like it. Nothing else really comes in the box here. I know, um, this is not like the most interesting episode. We have like some computer stuff coming in in a few weeks, I think. So uh, stay tuned for that, but it's just a simple thing. This is just what I'm gonna have for the desk. Package that. I'm gonna roll into the next one. You get that pun. Um, this is not tech, but this is uh, something that I use to film my videos. I know you guys like to see that. This is gaffer tape. Uh, this is essential. You, If you are a filmmaker, you need this. This is amazing. This uh, could be used to like set focus as a focus point or something, or just like a guideline. You could tape down wires. It's just something that you really need in your filmmaker's pack. 
there's just so many different use cases for something like this and I think it's only seven bucks I'll link everything in this video in the description down below but let's pop this open satisfying and this is my favorite one to unbox for sure just a little plunge through and then we can open this up that's so satisfying all right so this is gaffer's tape here. It has a different texture than normal tape. It doesn't leave any residue when you stick it down, which is good if you're like using it on a desk or something. I guess I'll peel some off just so you guys can see. Um, but gaffer's tape is something that uh, people use all the time on movie sets and stuff like that. It's perfect if you want to like put it down where your subject is going to be standing to kind of lay out the frame. So uh, this is it. I'll rip this off. It's also really easy to rip, as you just saw there. So if I put this down on the table, and when I rip it off, there's no residue left at all, which is really nice. And it also sticks multiple times. So if I just keep ripping this up, it just sticks down again. I think you can use this, like, a lot of times without it losing its adhesive. So it's nice. I love gaffer's tape. I can't overstate how much I use it. It's just such an awesome tool if you're a filmmaker that you could or want to have. This is the Video Micro by Rode. I always love the way Rode packages their products. Um, yeah, let's get into it. I love the graphic up top. So this video micro, this is basically an alternative to this. This is the Rode Video Mic Pro. This is about 200 bucks and it needs to be powered with a battery. This offers very similar sound quality and it's only 60 bucks and it does not need an external power source. So this might be putting this one in retirement depending on how it sounds. A lot of people use it. And since I'm a vlogger, if you didn't know, I have a second channel where I vlog, I'll link it below. And since I'm a vlogger, size really matters. I need something that's small and compact that I can take with me everywhere. So I think this is going to be perfect for that. So uh, let's open it. Oh, I hate this kind of tape on boxes. Jeez, Louise. All right. There we go. Only ruined the box a little bit. Put that over there. Slide this out. That's it. Pretty simple packaging. I love the outside of our boxes, but the inside does not always look the same aesthetic. All right, so let's see here. We have the little attachment. This is like the stand for it. And then this is the mic. It already has a windscreen on it. Damn, this windscreen is huge. So this is what you're gonna be using if you're out and about with the microphone. This will uh, take away wind sound. So this just goes in there. It makes the mic a little bit bigger. Uh, and you also kind of look crazy, but this is very fuzzy. It's uh, nice to hold. Never thought I'd say it about a microphone. Um, and here you have your other cable, so let's just pop this out. I love this red cable. Just adds a little flair to the product. So this plugs into the back of the mic right there. There we go. Um, we have a little Stoka gel. You gotta love this stuff. Unless it spills. It's happened to me, unfortunately, before. Have a little manual. I don't think I'll be needing that. And then you have your attachment. So let me see how this works. I have no idea what I'm doing wrong here. Might have to actually look at the manual after all. This is something that I never do. Alright, let's see. We got pictures. Alright, let's see. Put this on this. Check. Put this on this. I don't even... What? Alright, they, they make it sound like it's easy. Oh my gosh. Something is seriously wrong here. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I'm like actually putting a lot of force onto this. This does not seem right. What is going on here? Alright, I got it into place. Uh, that seems like it should be easier than it was, but maybe I'm just doing it wrong. I don't know, this looks clean. Now we can apply the dead cat, as some might call it. That goes right on there. Uh, and we're set. This thing is so much bigger than the microphone itself, it's kind of comical. All right, now we take the red cable and we plug it right into the back. Satisfying click. And then this just goes on to uh, your hot shoe on your camera. So I actually don't have a camera to put this on now, but insert footage right here where I'm going to be testing this as a vlogging microphone to see uh, how it sounds and how it um, performs. It's really small is my first impression. I think I'm going to be using this uh, instead of the Video Mic Pro if it holds up. But yeah, I guess we'll move on to the next product. You guys will see the vlog segment right now. Okay, this is your quick uh, vlog test. I have the video micro up here with the dead cat on. Uh, let me know what you think. This is in straight into the 6500. 
Uh, yeah, so let me know what you thought of the audio quality. If it sounds good to you guys, I might start using it to start vlogging instead of the Video Mic Pro. This is just your test of the audio from behind the camera. So I know with the Video Micro, it differs from in front to behind. So this is the audio from behind the camera. All right, this is the last product. I did open this beforehand. I needed to see what it looked like, but I'll still show you guys what you get in the box and then I'll talk a little bit about it. I slide this off. This also is really nice uh, product packaging. This is uh, the low free keeper, by the way. I backed this on, um, might have been Indiegogo. I don't remember if it was Kickstarter or Indiegogo. They're basically the same thing to me. Uh, I backed this about two months ago and I'm just getting it now. So um, it's a little bit late, but it just makes it right in time for a setup that I'm working on. So let me pop this open. There we go. Then the keyboard came in this nicely uh, wrapped, um, like plastic, I don't even know. Peel this off, put this aside, put the keyboard aside for a minute. Let me show you guys what else you get. Since I backed it, I got this. I'll show you guys these. Come on. What are you doing in there? It's weird. Honestly, I'm having a lot of trouble doing, uh, oh gosh. <laughs> Honestly, I'm having a lot of trouble doing stuff tonight. So, uh, I apologize. All right, there we go. So it came with these. So these are um, another uh, color keycap. So um, so I'm just gonna put these aside for a second. I'll talk more about the key situation in a minute. Let me just show you guys what else you get. You get some manuals and stuff. This is made out of a different type of paper. Feels more high quality maybe. Put this aside, what's in here? This is called the accessories box. Basically, that's just a fancy way of saying you get a micro USB cable. Honestly, it's not ideal that it's micro USB. I would have loved to see USB Type C. This is supposed to be like the futuristic keyboard. So micro USB. I mean, come on, come on, loafer. You're better than that. Uh, I do like though that it's the right angle, uh, so that will plug into the keyboard. I'll show you guys that. But let me just put all this aside. I have to repackage that for you guys. You're welcome. Um, there's so much like hair from that dead cat. Okay, so this keyboard. It's styled after a typewriter, so let me turn it on actually so you guys can see. So uh, it's a mechanical keyboard, as you can hear. Jemmy out. Um, no, but in all seriousness, it's uh, after a typewriter keyboard, so the keys are circular, which does take a minute or two to get used to. Like, typing my name right now is not the easiest thing in the world, but it looks really nice. I do not like this red key over here. I would love if this came in black also. I contacted them, no response. And these keys only cover the function bar and the space bar. This kind of ruins the aesthetic for me because I would have loved if this was black so it could keep the stealthy feel. Um, but I love the keyboard overall. I'm gonna try to see, maybe I can spray paint this or something, but um, the keys feel great to type on. I'm a mechanical keyboard lover, so this feels really nice and it's loud. So this thing checks a lot of boxes. Love it or hate it, you have to admit, this thing has a style. Even if you don't like the style, it does have a distinctive style. It's modeled after your typewriter, so um, it looks really clean. And then it also just stands out from like the path of like boxy, whatever mechanical keyboards. These have circular keys. It, is, it stands out, I really like it, it's matte looks clean it has a very distinct style so not only does it look good in my opinion it also uh, works with multiple operating systems there's a little switch on the side where you can go from windows and android to mac and ios so it's nice that it works with mac you can't really find a keyboard that is wireless mechanical and works with mac it's so hard to find i only have one other one and i really do not dig the style on it so I love this. There are some compromises to be found. It's a little bit harder to type on because I'm not used to it yet. I also really do not like this red key over here. I, I know I said it, but if this could be black, it ruins the aesthetic because I'm not trying to make a red and black setup. I'm trying to make a minimal matte black setup. So it's kind of annoying uh, that you can't replace it with another key. Even if it was blue or something, I could work with that. I just, I personally do not like red and black. There's some people's setups that I love, like Marquez's or Ed's, but for me personally, I don't really like red and black. I like black and pink or black and blue or something. So um, I'm not in love with this red key. Hopefully they can change it out. You could buy the white keyboard and then just have um, a black key from there. But the thing with that is that uh, you would end up having to spend like 140 bucks, which I know is what some other keyboards are priced at, but I don't really want to do that. Alright, 
So initial conclusions, I have to think about it how I type because the keys are a little more close together. Another thing to think about is that the arrow keys here, they're in a kind of messed up orientation. Um, they're, this key is all the way over to the right, which is not that comfortable. This is definitely going to take some time to get used to. Also, um, another thing that's going to take some time to get used to is how small the shift key is over here. Over here it's the regular, but then over here it's half the size because of this arrow key. If they were going to mess up the orientation, they could have just put it over here. I mean, that's kind of annoying. Let's see though. Let's see. I can adjust the volume, which is nice. So that works. Can I adjust the brightness? Oh, okay. You can adjust the brightness. That is very nice. I can see you using this with like an iPad Pro if that's your main laptop or something. That could be nice to use. Uh, I bought this for like 70 bucks on Kickstarter or on Indiegogo. Again, same thing. Uh, I probably would not pay any more than that. It's a nice keyboard, but there are a few flaws with it that um, are kind of major to me. Uh, and I bet I'll get used to it over time, but uh, I'm gonna have to see if I'm gonna stick with this keyboard. I'm not sure if it's gonna be my cup of tea necessarily, but let's see. All right, that's enough on this keyboard. It's a really awesome keyboard, but I'm not sure if I would rock this in my setup. I think if you're a writer mainly, um, this could be the keyboard for you. If you're a gamer, probably not as it's Bluetooth. Uh, but if you are a writer, it could get annoying because the keys are very close together. But I don't know, if you're really into aesthetics, this, this could be the keyboard for you. I th it has really clean aesthetics. I like them. And these turquoise keys look clean. Like, just imagine, imagine that this stupid red key is in here. You have this little turquoise here, and then you have these up top. That could look clean. Turquoise and black. That's going to be another setup idea for me because that just looks hella clean. So, um, I'm liking this keyboard. I'm not sure if it's going to be my daily driver keyboard, but if you want a full review on it, like a deeper look at it, let me know. I like a lot of the things about it, but I also don't like a lot of the things about it, so I'm kind of mixed here. That's going to be for this video, though. Let me know if you enjoyed it by giving a thumbs up on this video. I just pre-ordered a OnePlus 5. Hopefully, it's going to be here very soon. If it is, you'll know. I'll have a video up. Uh, I'm planning on doing an unboxing, a camera comparison, and a review, maybe even a comparison to the iPhone 7 Plus because we all know it looks pretty similar. Um, so let me know if you want any other coverage on that, if that seems like too little, too much. Let me know for sure. Appreciate you guys all taking the time out to watch this one. You can check out my other content right here or right here, wherever I'm going to put it in post if I remember. And then you can subscribe right here. Um, a lot of you guys love and know Brandon Harvard. I have a collab coming up with him very soon, so get hyped for that. He's an awesome content creator. I'll leave him link below so you can uh, look at his content and then get hyped for the fact that we're doing a collab with him. Appreciate you guys for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.